Simon Jones here from HitFilm.com. When I was putting together the decidedly silly FX Home Christmas video this year, I found myself using HitFilm Ultimate's tracking features in combination with grading. This naturally made me think, hey, this would make a good tutorial. Here's the shot in question. The grade for the sequence was very blue, very cold and wintry. It works great on the background and on the snow and the costume, but it makes Tom's face blue and lifeless. Compared to the ungraded shot, you can see that a lot of colour has been sucked out. What I really wanted was to grade Tom's face separately to the rest of the shot. Here you can see the grade has been adjusted to not affect Tom's face, and it keeps track as he moves around. Let's take a look at how to do this really easily in HitFilm Ultimate. You can download project files if you want to follow along with this tutorial in HitFilm. Check the video description for a link, and those will work in the demo version as well. After opening the project file, you'll find a composite shot called Tutorial which is a simplified version of the shot without the snow and the fog. We'll be covering the snow in a separate tutorial soon, so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss it. The first thing we need to do is track Tom's face, so let's click the Add Track button to switch to the tracking interface. I'll move the feature area onto Tom's usefully distinct nose and expand the search area a little bit to cover his face. I can now track backwards from this point. The optical flow tracking has no problems here, even when there's lots of motion blur and the nose even goes partially out of the frame at the start. Right, I now add a new point which we'll use as the reference for the track. In the track panel I can now select the point and apply the position data to it. After tracking, don't forget to switch back to the viewer panel so that you can see your other layers. If I select the point layer, you can see that it's now nicely tracked onto Tom's face. If you're using the tutorial files, you should already have a disabled grade layer on the timeline with the grading filters applied. If you turn its visibility back on now using the eye tool, you can see how it affects the image. The thing about grade layers is that they grade every layer beneath them. The shape and size of the grade layer determines what parts of the frame are affected. So as I drag this around, you can see that it's only grading the area inside the box. Because the grade layer can be moved like this, it can also be parented to other layers, including the point layer that is tracked onto Tom's face. The grade layer can be parented to the point layer using the parent menu on the timeline. If I move the playhead around, you can see that the grade layer is now perfectly attached to Tom's face. Of course, because the grade layer was created at the same resolution as the video, as it moves, we can see the edges of it. To fix that, find the frame where the grade layer is farthest away from the center, which in this case is frame 0. You might find it easier to use the mouse wheel to zoom out so you can see exactly what's happening. Using the select tool in the viewer, I can now resize the layer simply by dragging on the corner points. Now that the grade layer is much bigger, as it moves around, it still covers the entire frame. We now need to add a mask to isolate Tom's face. Let's zoom back in so we can see what's going on. Make sure the grade layer is selected on the timeline, then use the ellipse mask tool to draw a rough circle over Tom's face. The mask needs to be inverted so that it cuts a hole in the layer. I'll also boost up the feather so that the mask has a nice subtle soft edge. Because the grade layer is already tracked to the face, as I move through the shot, the mask stays perfectly in place. You don't have to use tracking of course, this can be done in HitFilm Standard as well by manually rotoscoping the mask position, but HitFilm Ultimate's tracking saves a huge amount of time and can often be more accurate. This is a simple example, but using tracking in conjunction with grading has all kinds of potential, whether it's selectively grading the sky in a handheld shot, brightening an actor's eyes, changing the colour of a sign or logo, or isolating a specific object like in the film Pleasantville. We'll be back with more tutorials soon, and if you have any questions, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, in the comments, or on the hitfilm.com forums. I'm Simon Jones, and I approve this tutorial.